talk to me after Saturday night, man. I don't really talk no shit about nobody. I respect fighters and stuff, but uh, we want to see what happens. Okay. Um, as far as Caleb goes, Caleb made it seem like you know right back in the fighter. Another big fight. Uh, the last fight might have been fight of the year and probably the best year of boxing that I've ever seen. He started it all. Yeah. With the Benavides. Like definitely everybody did. giving everybody else all the credit. But him and David started it off by taking that fight. In a um, non title fight, though. That's what's crazy. Yeah, I know, right? Because it's the, David was the end on the chance. Yeah. Um, it wasn't non title money, though. But he still they still started it off. Um, um, I don't know who Caleb fight, man. I've been concentrating on Julian and uh, Kuko and Karan. I really don't know. You're saying that with a big ass smile. No, I don't know. <laughs> He might, Caleb, Caleb talk shit sometimes, man. So he might be talking shit. I don't know who he fighting. I don't. I'm being honest with you. We talk, but we haven't, you know, talked in the detail. He knows I'm in camp with other guys. So he, you know, he hasn't been bothering me too much. He probably been going away with his family. But I don't know who he fighting. Uh, but he might be pulling, uh, uh, you know, y'all got to hit him up and get an interview with him. He might be pulling, I definitely pulling your coattails. Because I, I don't know. I, I know you probably think I'm capping, but I don't know who he's fighting. That would I have be no idea what's going on. I'm locked in on June 24th. I got two guys going on June 24th. I got another two guys going in August. I'm really locked in on them. I haven't, we, have, we don't even know. And plus a lot of guys are tied up at 68. You know what I mean? Like, so, you know, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he pulls something out the hat and he probably gonna tell me after this fight over with, but I don't really know. A lot of guys are tied up at 68, but I think everybody's looking at one particular guy that's not tied up. <laughs> That'd be a, a really, really good fight. Oh, Andre. I don't know. Listen, man, I don't, I don't look at fighters and all like that, like to say who, like, stay away from him. Man. I don't talk like that. Mm. You know, so, I mean, Andre's a great fighter, but, you know, I'm sure if that, if they get the right deal, then they'll fight. But I haven't heard that about that. I wouldn't lie to you. If I, if I heard it, I would just say I can't speak on it. Mm -hmm. And I would just say I don't know nothing about it. But I haven't heard anything about that. But that's the honest to God truth. I heard Andre um, and Jamal talking on the phone yeah. on, on what you call him. So they might have been doing something. Uh, and uh, I know that kid Morell said he wanted to fight Andre. So I don't know. But as far as I never heard nothing about Caleb and Andre before. Would it surprise you? Caleb's took three tough fights in a row. No, would it surprise you that he hops back in there with another world level opponent? Mm -mm, it wouldn't surprise me. That's just the media that try to like talk bad about Caleb. But he, 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 he a fighter. He, he'll fight. I know he won't have no problem fighting um, one of those guys. But whether the fight got made or not, that's a different story. But he won't have no problem fighting none of those guys. He, he a fighter.